Hey, Terry here. Energy focus for the week. It's a big week. It's a big couple of weeks. Today, we're sitting in the full moon in Libra, an eclipse, a lunar eclipse. Opening up this big old portal of energy that we're going to be in for the next couple of weeks until we have the full moon solar eclipse on April 8th. So as we start out today, we've got fullness, we've got emotional energy, we've got the scales trying to balance that out, and we've got that fire of Aries. We've just opened up to the season of Aries, which is kind of pushing us. But one of the things I think that we all can try to embrace is divine feminine and divine masculine. Both are needed right now. Where can you make that balance for you? Too much fire, pull it back a little bit. Too much trying to please everybody, pull it back a little bit and find that balance. And as you move through today and the rest of these two weeks, really, notice the energy coming up for you. Notice what you're thinking, what you're telling yourself. Notice your environment. All of these things are kind of pulling on you right now to awaken you to a new part of who you truly, truly are. It's very important to take a moment and to pause, to slow down. We need to do this often, not just today, but as you move through this time, this portal of energy, notice what you're surrounded by. Slow down so that you can hear the messages of your soul. We all move too fast. We really do. But really focusing in, aligning the spiritual body, Right on top of the physical, the emotional, mental, I talk about this all the time, helps you to slow down so that you can receive the messages. There is a push-pull. That's what the eclipses are all about. Pushing on the nodes, the north and south. South node is your comfort zone. North node is where you're trying to bring that soul work forward. And then we got society. Who are you listening to? That's a great question to ask today. And as you move through these next couple of weeks, who are you listening to? Who are you trying to please? Are you living your purpose? Humanity is at a point right now asking you to ask these questions. We have to shift and we are shifting. Whether or not you want to or not, there is a new earth coming around. So knowing your spirit, your practice, your path is really what is needed. And it can be a challenge today. You can feel over emotional. You can feel a little tired, out of sorts. All the more reason to slow down, take a pause, get outside, put your feet on the earth, feel the wind in your hair. What is the wind telling you? What are you feeling from mother earth? We're in this new season. What are you planting? The same old stuff <laughs> that doesn't grow. <laughs> okay. A little amusement always helps. Are you setting out new seeds to nurture, to bring forward? Eclipses are great for this. It's like this whole portal of energy pushing you through, opening you up to a bigger part of who you truly are. So take some time today, set some energy out there, maybe just renew the intentions you set at the new moon, maybe <laughs> ditch those and start again. Because people will say eclipses bring abrupt endings. So it is a great opportunity to really reset your path, put this in motion for you, recognize this portal of energy over these next two weeks so that you can make shifts, make changes, feel the depth of your soul. So let's take a moment and just center our energy. We'll look to the cards, see what the cards have to say as well. So wherever you are, if you can, just take a moment and close your eyes. Calling in all the sacred elements of life, lighting the fire, noticing the element of air, Calling in the energy of water, clearing the emotions. Emotions are big today. Calling in the element of earth, grounding, centering with all this beautiful cosmic forces. Take another deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, just call all your energy into you, calling your spirit. Feel the alignment of energy, centering, grounding. Take another deep inhale and exhale, dropping into the heart, right in the very center of your heart. Feel that connection, your spirit, the greater spirit, source, creator. Know that you're loved, guided. Know that the cosmos are helping to open up this portal, giving you a little push to make the changes you seek. 
taking a moment, setting an intention for this time right here in the deepest part of your heart. See it, feel it, know it, hear it. And allow the elevated emotions, how you want to feel, to radiate out all through your aura. Setting that intention out. Taking another deep inhale and exhale, releasing the attachment, holding that vibrational light, grounding your energy, opening your heart, feel the focus of the third eye. And as you're ready, blinking the eyes back open, coming back. So we'll draw some cards for clarity, clarity on what you can do as you move through this portal of energy. So the first card is the son of earth. So this is an action card and this is of the earth realm, the physical realm, but it also talks about being really loyal to you. It's kind of like nose to the ground. Yes, we have some Saturn energy in the cosmos and it is talking about being grounded in that path of who you are, walking that path with loyalty to yourself first and foremost, see the dog, and then to others. But first and foremost, focusing your path, not what everybody else wants you to do, perfect card, but what you wanna do at this time right now. Know that there are changes, five of fire, five is change, sometimes conflict, and fire is our passion. So what is your soul telling you to do? It's like, throw it up into the universe, don't be afraid, allow it to mix up, allow it to shift and change. You be part of the change. Go a different way, all right? Eat a different dinner, brush your, hand, brush your teeth with a different hand, right? These are ways we break up patterns. And so it is time to have this change come forward through passion, through desire, through fire. The magician, you're the magician of your life. You get to create. This portal of energy is allowing you to do that. Infinite potential, see the infinity above his head? Reach up into heaven, say, this is who I claim to be. Declare who you want. All your gifts are right here on the table. You have all the elements you need to manifest your path through this portal of energy. Mother of air, this is about having discernment, all right? A lot of energy out in the world. Have a little bit of that discernment for your mind. Air is of the mind. Don't be too critical, right? Sometimes when this comes up, it's all that judging, all that critical stuff we have about ourselves old habit, let it go. Discernment, yes, but be focused so that you can be loyal to your path, allow for changes, perfect time to do some changing right now as spring has just opened up. Be that magician in your life as you move through this portal of energy. Beautiful cards, beautiful guidance. What can you do for your path right now to make the changes you desire? Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Open the heart. Listen to your soul right now. Enjoy the beautiful full moon as it comes up tonight. Work with the energy, not against it as we move through this portal of light. To your spirit, namaste.